Hi, this is Trey Pass. I'm going to do a reaction to um, <laughs> uh, Gen V. This is episode three of, of season one. Uh, this is a spinoff of The Boys. This has been really good so far. Uh, it has that typical kind of boys kind of uh, uh, template in a way. And just with younger uh, uh, people in it. And um, I'm looking forward to watching episode three. They dropped three episodes last week and I'm just getting around to watching all three of them, and I think episode four debuts sometime this week. So and then I'm going to work on editing uh, the three episodes t starting tomorrow. So uh, let's get right to it. And I'll right back in my reaction to episode three. Okay, so here we go right now. Go. Sage Grove Center Psychiatric Hospital. East Wing do not bring a lot of stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Jeez, you strong. Sam! It's okay. Whoa. Jesus. Okay. I could have just been regular. What matters is I'm your brother. Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa, man. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Whoa. Jesus. Jesus. Um, can you go get my pills from over there? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the blue ones on the left. Thanks. That's a good rewrite. <laughs> they did to that poor janitor. It was so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Who were they? I don't know. Hmm. But I found hmm. something. Hmm. Oh, yeah, nice thought, them. You couldn't have known. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Huh. For now, nothing. We lay low. Huh. Fuck that, no. Luke's brother huh. is being tortured in this... whatever it is. Uh, no, Sam needs to get out and we need to get him out now. Huh. Okay. I can huh. do it. So make me stop. You're not going to. Huh. Not to me. I can't lose you too. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Where is she? She's still small. Jesus. So, every time you eat to get big and to get small, you... Yeah. Isn't it? Hmm. Okay, I've been through this Lifetime movie before, so I'll just play the trailer. No, hmm. it's not an eating disorder. It's how I get small. Hmm. Yes, my mom knows. Yes, I'm in control. You're in control? Hmm. Thank you. Really? She's trying to help. But I've been pitied by half the school today. So if you don't mind... I'm not pitying you. Okay, Marie, we don't have to do this. Ribbon. Patriotic. Strong. Okay, red and blue are for hmm. congenital heart defects and Noonan syndrome. Uh, oh, okay. Really? Um, just the blue, then. Alopecia, oh. anal cancer, anti-bullying. I'm sorry. I'm aware you're not five. <laughs> it's force of habit. My daughter loved these. You have a daughter? I did. What? Why? Yeah. Because it's better ratings if you cry on camera. But you didn't let her get to you. Yeah. You stayed tough, showed poise. Mm. Thanks. Mm. What do you say? Really? Yeah. 
Yeah? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. Excellent. Eat up. Will they get cold? Mm. <laughs> oh, she's just a freshman. But note the tremble to the voice. Strong mm. and humble. Harder than it looks. Mm. Girls are natural. I know. Really? You're right. Most important moment of your career. I'm sorry. You know what's going through my head? Me, it didn't show. I was thinking about calling hospitals. Mm. I fucked up. I yeah. slept on my alarm mm. and uh, I let you down. It's not about me. If I could do something heroic, like actually help people, that would be good, right? Don't trust her. <laughs> See? You filming this? I want everyone to know how sorry yep. I am. Ah, really? Hit her. Jesus. Wait, this is nicer than Sylvia Greenfield meant to invite, and she had BTS and have an Aguila. Tickets must have cost a fortune. How's your eating? Hmm. You are on your own now. You need to be careful about your calorie intake, okay? You had better days. Hmm. Hmm. Well, she was fired from Fatal Seduction because apparently her acting's for shit, if that helps. It doesn't. <laughs> Wait, she was? <laughs> yes. Okay, hmm. I remade myself. And that is exactly what we're going to do here for you tonight. Mom, what do you mean? Yeah. What do I always say? Oh, pee after sex? Kate. What if we all Marie? I haven't seen you since... I just... Wanted to say I'm sorry. You saw the interview. Oh. Thanks. I'm sorry. Ah. I really am sorry. This doesn't feel real. Three years ago. He would have never killed himself. That's his family. Of course he's going to feel lousy about it. Oh. Tell me to feel better. Not like oh, this man. place. Really? I think this is something you just have to go through. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's ahead of me when tomorrow's really? rankings comes out. I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. We're all in the top ten anyway. What's the big deal? Hang on, I'm gonna come. Mm. Your favorite parent. I'll break it down. I'll break it down a one time. Surprise! <laughs> Are you surprised? Oh, surprise God. That's a word that I'd use, yeah. We wanted to pay our respects yeah. to Brink tonight. We know what he meant to you. I could have been able to rise. You still can Marie. <coughs> She's even more perfectly imperfect in person. You found a real one. Mm. Mm. Card. Just ah! came here to get an NFT of my card. I hope I can meet your parents soon. Really? For sure. Uh. Me too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend I don't know your age. I'm just a freshman. Mm. Keep doing what you're doing. Mm. You could be the first top ranked freshman in history. Oh, okay. yeah. A little cricket's dead, RIP. Now it's me, Emma. Uh, team making her way at God, you. Only now, she's battling her own sort of internal supervillains from the body image oh, stuff, God. the eating disorder. The eating disorder. Yes. And, okay. Right now, really? we're working with eating alive or. Feeling small. Oh Jesus! <laughs> uh, it's a, it's oh, a starting boy. off point. We we can develop it, honey. Kid, a real go-getter. Hmm. Don't let him fool you. He was a holy terror as a boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we're from hmm. Rochester. Where are you from, Kyle? Oh. Hmm. Oh God. Awkward. How do you pee in it? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Emma. I 
you all been there? No, I mean for everything. I don't want to just be roommates. And I don't pity you. I know this is probably too little, too late, but I'd, I'd really like us to be mm. friends. <laughs> Thank you. Be like this. Ah. Just let it happen. So when he was in third grade, there was this girl, Ruby. I don't know. Have... Well, Daddy, we used to try on prom dresses together in high school. So maybe we can be wife and wife. Ugh. Baby, you're not like... You gotta work what? with what you got. It's cut. Really? I mean, it's exploiting me. Really? I think in the real world, everybody uses everyone. Exactly. You have a whole other room for all the people's choices. You know, yep. working in my charitable contributions for the calendar year, and you are still chairwoman of Vodka Tots, right? Mm. Uh, excuse me, uh, I gotta hit the bathroom. All that champagne. Oh. Hey, hmm. what, what, what are you doing? Hmm. Thought I can't buy a ticket. <laughs> you, you, you hmm. push somebody for the free booze. Wow, hmm. that's offensive. Should we talk about our intercourse situation? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, sorry, <laughs> that sounded so bad. Um, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. Not, not, not now. Not now. Later. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That is awkward. Yeah, intercourse. Oh, he can use her to spy since she gets small. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> You're cricket, right? Emma. Emma, Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, to tell you the truth, I uh, wanted to talk to you. Hmm. You want to talk to me? Hmm. We, re we were giving you a hmm. gift with Compound V. You did give me a gift. Can we please not talk about this? Hmm. For you, maybe. I'm no bigot. Hmm. Close to Olive Garden just for the breadsticks who've been just property brothers. I've never changed, Dad. Huh. I've always just been me. What the Jesus fuck? is awkward. Like what the fuck? Mm. Like what the fucking fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing down there? I mean, fuck, could they do that to us? Are we in danger? I mean, should we tell someone? Mm. But mm. I can't do it without getting busted but maybe but she can she can See, i mean saying it out loud <laughs> it sounds like a bad fucking idea so you should forget i said no i'm totally totally in dude because it is like life or death dangerous and you're a freshman and you are not even on the crime fighting <laughs> track you but also no matter <laughs> what you say yes <laughs> Okay, so the GPS tags connected to my phone. Remember, just recon, no tiny action hero shit. I think this is where they're keeping him, but if you see anything shady, just bail. What's his room number again? Northwest Wing 4. This is insane. God, please don't let her die. Whoa. You gotta we breathe. Don't want dinner. Keep it up. Yeah, there she is. Oh my god. This is insane. The woods, huh? Damn. Whoa! Whoa. Jesus. Jesus. Was not just a tragedy. Where the hell did you go? I was getting it was some air. the darkest Chill. days in Godolkin's history. The Golden Boy to commit such an evil, unspeakable act. It just... That's right. Yeah. So let's give Marie and staff like her the future she deserves. A donation to uh. the Think Brink Foundation will provide long overdue upgrades to the combat gym and the recording studios. <laughs> but hmm. really, from the bottom of my heart, what happened to you? Parents. Hmm. 
Say no more. Mm. Mm. Vodka, the expensive shit you save for the big swinging dicks. Brink was like an uncle to my boy. And thanks to him, <laughs> Andre's going all the way. See, that's what mm. made Brink the real deal. You can see the diamond mm. inside the rock. A different kid all of a sudden. Trying to be a hero, mm. Dad. What are you talking about? Mm. I didn't sleep through my interview. There's some fucked up shit going on, and that, that's why Luke killed Brink. Because there's, there's this underground hospital where they keep everybody in the... Who else would be told? Nobody. Don't say another fucking word about this. You the boy want to chop it up. Tiny girl is such an interesting choice. Why would I do that? What does it mean? How? What's the name of the stuffed animal I loved more than anything when I was little? I have no idea. What's the name? Dip top. How about dip, dip top? How did I break my arm in second grade? Fuck, man, I don't know. Tell me. I do, on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Waterworld. Water world. Water world. Really? Jesus. <laughs> For real. <Yeah. laughs> Holy shit. You do know this is the dumbest test ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you what are you doing here? You could get in big trouble. Sort of scouting ahead. For what? For you. <sighs> I have a game bag. Okay, beanbag is not a compelling <laughs> reason to stay captive, Sam. I've tried, I've tried to get out before, but people get hurt. Mm. Thanks for coming by. Mm. Your brother said. Tell me. him about his brother. Yeah. Luke? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could give you the codes to all the security doors. They don't think I pay attention. Mm. <laughs> I do. Oh boy. You know the fucking oh codes? Ah. Good. I'm glad I could be useful to you. Oh, so useful. You're fantastic. Excuse me. Look me in the morning. I'm surprised you can walk straight with everyone's tongue lodged up your ass. Leave me alone. You don't know shit ah. about me. Brown noser, one upper, mommy and daddy's perfect little hero. Yeah, well, that's definitely not me. Because my parents are dead. You happy? Bullshit. Yeah. I didn't know I had powers until my first period. And it sliced through my mom's body. Dad came in, same deal. Fuck. Yeah. I'm the Shit. last person who thinks they're a hero. I fucking hate myself half the time. We See, he were opened up camping. finally. I was nine. My parents were setting up the tent. My little brother kept kicking at my shins. So I grabbed him by the arm and I told him to go away and never come back. So he did. Jesus. There was a Jeez. search party. Dogs, you know. It went on for weeks. Jeez. But nothing. My mom never touched me again. Jesus. Neither did my dad. Jesus. Make a buck off you. No, my parents weren't like that. Huh? Yes, they were. They did this. Mm. You didn't. Don't spend a fucking minute mm. crying over them. No, you didn't. Mm. Yeah, I know. I was just feeling left out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's about being alone at the end of the world and finding your humanity. Yeah. Really? And drinking your own pee. <laughs> You want some? Oh, can't. If I eat, I... Get big. Like Alice in Wonderland. Exactly. Right. She's You're bonding. You're the furthest thing from gross. You're... Uh... <laughs> exactly. You're pretty. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yep, come in there. You are. Please don't die. Not at all, though. Or maybe mm. cosmetic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's oh, watching. No. Uh oh. Lockdown. Hey, guys. Uh, I fucked up. What did you do? Hmm. It's about her roommate. Emma? Who the fuck is Emma? 
I is she okay? I think she's stuck. Stuck? <laughs> Where? He's Promise. You said I know you're here. As soon as they turn off the electricity, run. What electricity? <laughs> Oh, man. Jesus. Uh oh. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Jesus. 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 Oh God. Jesus. Get this is the closest thing possible. <laughs> is, is he? Jesus. Fuck. Jesus. Zero. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Now, that was a, another really good episode of of um the Gen V. Uh, now things are picking up. We had, uh, actually we found out uh, uh, that I, forgot, I should really learn that the blonde chick, Maddie Phillips's character, her you know she was the one that actually saved uh, not Luke, uh, the other guy, you know the black lead character. Now <laughs> I, I should really learn these, these characters' names since I'm going to be watching this. But she say she's the one that actually followed, you know pinged his phone and follow you know. I don't know, and then they wind up actually uh, <laughs> uh, hooking up. <laughs> uh, was, so now things are a little awkward between them. <laughs> okay, but uh, but he he really wants to be a hero. You can tell his father is really disappointed in him because he he didn't show up at the interview, and now you know he's you know he's buggering out at the, at the fundraiser, and then he he told his father what he was actually doing. And his father knows what's going on. His father told him to leave it alone, okay, because it could get you killed, <laughs> uh, which is ominous. And of course, he talked to uh, uh, what's uh, Marie's roommate, uh, the little blind girl who's kind of my favorite character, and convinced her to go spy to see Luke's brother who's down there. And he's down there, and, and they actually bonded uh, her, her character because first he thought she was a hallucination that he had, but then you know they you know they kind of bonded there. And then it looks like somebody was watching them, and then they you know turned on electricity, and, and I guess they were tr trying to bust whoever that was. You know, see who that who he was talking to, because they know it's a school for people with powers and stuff. And then, of course, she did a, <laughs> a thing, thing. She jumped in his ear and just came through the other side, ah, and basically fried it. You know, basically, you know, probably gave him a lobotomy, <laughs> literally, by coming through his other ear, other side of his other ear. Ugh. But hopefully, like I said, she gets out of there, because uh, you see all the other people come on, and, and she came out of his ear. So I don't know if they saw that because she's really small. Uh, but hopefully she don't get busted. But hopefully she's not stuck in there. I, I hope she doesn't. And now Luke, uh, not Luke. Uh, I forgot. I shouldn't know his, the guy's name. He went down there and actually told them that. Uh, what I guess he was telling them at the end there what his plan was that he sent her roommate down there, <laughs> the little blonde girl, the spy. Even though he told you know Maddie Phillips' character he was going to leave it alone, <laughs> but you know he wants to be a hero. He wants to help his friend's brother. You know, which I think you know I can. It's admirable. But now things are getting interesting, and now it seems like Marie is. No, she, you know she has her moments where she, like she had a good moments in there where she apologized to the, to the uh, trans student and stuff. But and then she actually admitted, you know, what happened with her family and stuff. She kind of opened up, and then you know, Maddie Phillips' character opened up, <laughs> and that was funny. The, <laughs> the trans character made a joke about that. that was funny. But at that moment, the trans kid and his parents were, that was, t or their parents, that was tough. But then you know. You know, having that honest conversation, which is insane. You know, because he showed up. You know, you know, because I, I, you know, around his parents, I guess he tries to be a boy around them, but he prefers to, you know, to be his true self. But and then he, I guess he couldn't take it anymore. He just revealed himself. Yeah, you know, as his, you know, as his true self. Yeah, you know, at the fundraiser. Ugh. Uh, but I, 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 and you can tell now that where the blonde girl has her issues with her mom is just. It's just a conniver and stuff. One of these stage moms, and but now it looks like uh, she was bonding with um, Luke's brother. So I'm hoping at the end of this, 
Luke's brother doesn't die and they break out and she doesn't die. Well, that's why that was my big fear that she would die. So hopefully at the end of this, it looks like she may get, they may get busted because she came out of his ear and they, I don't know if they were looking down at her and they could see her because she's small. Although I guess he could see her. So Luke's brother could see her. So I guess they could see her too. So I'm hoping that she can escape <laughs> or they can get, or she can get rescued by uh, Luke and his friends. Because I think they, I think what's going to happen is they're going to, you know, they're going to actually team up and use their powers and, and bust this uh, thing. It would be, you know, that that's happening at the school, at the woods area and stuff. Because uh, remember that, that his brother is really powerful. You saw at the beginning there when they showed that fast flashback of three years ago when he would, he basically put his fist through that guy's, through his, I think through his stomach, through his mouth. Oh, he saw a fist coming out of the guy's mouth. Oh my God, that was just insane. Oh, but anyway, this show, I'm glad I actually went back to watch these three episodes. This show is really good. And like I said, tomorrow I'll start editing these three episodes and hopefully I can be, hopefully I can do it with a couple of days, maybe Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday, finish doing it. And then episode four, I can watch episode four, maybe on Saturday or maybe Sunday and then edit that. And then I'll be caught up some, some more. And then I know Loki comes out. Uh, uh, tomorrow, but I don't know if they drop one episode or two episodes. Probably two episodes, probably with Loki, because I think it was six episodes last season. So I wonder if there's six episodes now, or six again like before. I don't know. I gotta Google that and see if that's the case. But anyway, this show is really good, and I guess, like I said, the the creators of the boys, you know, are really good, and and this show is really good too. So I'm glad I invested in it, and I'm glad I'll be, uh, like I said, I'll do my edited version, which will go on this channel, and then my unedited version will go on my patron okay anyway links to my social media in the description box facebook twitter instagram i also have a link to my other channel for views and opinions please check that out as well also i have a link down below um again uh to my other channel for views and opinions check that out as well also i have a link down below to my patron I want to say a special thank you to my two patrons their names will appear in this video somewhere i want to say thank you to them supporting me I always have my back and again uh this show will be on my patron hopefully sometime in the next couple of days the unedited version will be on my patron the edited version hopefully will be on this channel okay link uh, my patrons only five thousand a month with tons of content on there including loki season one is on there and season two is going to be on there when i start you know, watching that and editing that as well so i got the movies on there as well i think the last voyage of the demeter that's the last movie i put up on there so you can check that out and also so follow the link down below to check that out. also please give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel and i truly appreciate it also hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when i upload new content to this channel and this is trey pastor saying so long and take care